Ah, there we, there we go. You know, every every time I post a video on YouTube, I, I don't look like myself. You, you know, like uh, I look like all, all stressed out because I'm, I'm walking and uh, all disheveled looking. But anyways, I'm about to go to my dad's uh, grave site where where his uh, urn is and uh, and see. And uh, you know, I'm willing to bet though. There's a tree right there, but I bet you one of the trees are half dead right by my dad's gravesite. The man who uh, World War II was fought over, and uh, eventually I'll be able to prove this in court. That uh, my dad took a right for my father to exist. World War II was fought over. And his son, so he's the second coming of Jesus Christ to a lot of people. He has to be, you know, you don't fight a war for somebody. Like, to, 50 million people would die, right? But that would be very significant. So, anyways, I'm going to show right there, and I'm going to prove it. You know, I'm going to see exactly right by his gravesite. There, there's going to be, uh, you know, some dead trees because uh, it's a spot where I'm likely to go and uh, to to speak and mourn, right? So, there's absolutely going to be some sort of technology there to. Uh, Kind of hear what I say. Stop uh, making this video here, and uh, I'm dismantling the system slowly but surely. You know, like what I do, I've been, uh, you know, like Sherlock Holmes. I am sleuthing. It's not a word, but it makes sense in that context. I'm going to my dad's grave. Uh, the man who World War II was fought over. 50 million people died, so that's how important this man was. And uh, to most people, he's going to be viewed as the second coming of Jesus Christ. And I'm his son. I have this evolutionary gene. Which uh, does make me king of anywhere where there's a monarchy or any emperor, what have you. But uh, I guarantee you there's going to be some half-dead trees right by his gravestone. And I've only been there once. And at that point in time, I wasn't even looking for half-dead trees. So I'm not even sure. To me, it's uh, pretty obvious uh, that people do leech off people. And uh, once again, this uh, originated when, uh, with Mary, Queen of Scott. She bathed in the blood of virgins. And uh, there is some truth to this. There is uh, some truth with uh, absorbing DNA. It does uh, help regenerate people because uh, you know it's a practice that's continued for over like 500 years or so. But uh, in Sault Ste. Marie, some of the standout athletes that my son would play with, all of a sudden, once all of us left town, their performance diminished. So, you know, pretty soon I'm going to be leaving town again because it's so small, it's too boring, and uh, you know I can't even find a job here. But anyways. Uh, so performance is going to go down. We're at the new Greenwood Cemetery, and uh, like that says right here, it says Irwin, but I I win. And some of these trees are dead. And uh, just to round up the bend here is uh, where my father's buried, and knowing that I'm winning, I almost need a sharpie for my signatures. I'm going to find out in a minute, but I'm so confident in it because uh you know it's uh where my father's buried so that's where i would go to confide right like i'd be speaking out there and uh you know it's a cemetery you're not expecting anybody listening to you right so i'd be uh mourning my father and uh and would speak speak my mind so i know due to the importance of me and the importance of that man that there's there's going to be a dead tree like right by, by his gravesite. Absolutely, I'm super confident. And uh, you know, I, I was here once earlier this year and I wasn't even looking for dead trees at that point. Awesome thing is, is uh, as soon as I started mentioning uh, the half dead trees, all of a sudden they were contemplating, you know, changing the leaves. And it's like, I almost wish they would have because uh, you know, the leaves don't go start to change here in Sault Ste. Marie till uh, you know September almost October so it would have been great for them to start to change the leaves in August because uh, that would have shown that there's something up and uh, with the chemtrails that everybody is aware of about nowadays uh, that you know uh, starts to form uh, the geoengineering uh, which we call clouds actually not the clouds uh, they're not uh, good enough for me to show a demonstration you can't really see them moving contrasting but that'd be great because uh, due to the fact that I have this evolutionary DNA and the American quantum computing machine loves my DNA, loves it. And uh, so it 
enables me to be able to manipulate the clouds and I never was able to do this a few years ago and most of the stuff I never even believed in a few years ago but as I felt my life being crushed you know all because uh, I was gonna buy a fourplex and at the last minute an hour and a half before you know I was told I needed double a down payment totally kiboshed me and that was about eighteen hundred dollars a month in income that was lost a fourplex right and then, so after this fourplex, I'm like, okay, nobody takes me serious, so I'm gonna buy a Mercedes. So I bought a, this was in uh, 2012, I bought a 2010 Mercedes, and in this city, I emasculated everybody. There's one guy, uh, I'm not gonna say his name, because it's not that important, but every single time I seen him, he brought up the Mercedes, even after a year. It's like, get over yourself. It was only a $25,000 car. People drive around in $70,000 trucks in the city, but a Mercedes, just the name, the prestige, and uh, you know, it was just absolutely emasculating for these individuals. Another thing is, is uh, so I've only been out of Toronto for a few weeks now. Like, when did I come? I guess, well, maybe about a month, and I know the tourism went down because when you have the rarest DNA on the planet, people travel out of their way to see me and just to walk where I've ever walked. And in Sault Ste. Marie, I left in 2017. At least 20 businesses have closed down since I left and I'm gonna be leaving soon because I can't find a job in this town and uh, and I don't like it here at all. Like there's uh, no nightlife and what have you. But uh, so this city's gonna further depreciate and die almost. It's almost like the exodus of talent because they murder people off. Here's my dad's uh, gravesite here and uh, you know once again World War II was fought for his right to exist and he would have been king and if you look and I I just noticed this now for the first time but right behind him here it says close so whenever you see close in the system they're looking for whether it be a crime or whatnot but if I walk over here it says king so the king is close his name would have been Barry John Diggins Sr. And then if you look over here, and once again, this is why there's the, the dead trees, because uh, there's a hidden cipher, and my dad was buried in uh, 2001, and all these tombstones are, are older, but it would say right here, Meyer. Meyer. Off. We're not going to lock this one in, but all and then Taylor. So we're not going to lock that, but we're going to lock in this though. Meyer, who's me? And that's a lock. And all these, all these graves, like tombstone markers, are always positioned in a specific location because there is a cipher. Once I get back to Toronto, I'm gonna gonna go to the Mount Pleasant Cemetery and I'm gonna show more of this cipher. Oh, you know, here I am. I, I win. And uh, that's not a word that most schizophrenics use at all. That's why audacious thing. Just as the man predicted, right here, that's my father's site. And right here, let's see, oh, that, that branch, right, right there. That branch right there is dead and that one right there once again here's my dad's gravesite and i predicted this right here and that tree over here is dead at that one spot and right there look at how these trees are dying and uh one of the excuses online 
was uh, due to trees being stressed, due to construction, and uh, it's a graveyard. Unless that's the construction right there that's killing all the trees in Sault Ste. Marie. And, and this one right here. Because this was so predictable. As, uh, you know, this is the spot where I come to mourn my father. And, uh, you know, even though there's probably very few of his ashes there. And I knew there was going to be some here. So I rode out all the way. And if you can see right here, here's another... Another branch right here that is dying. And if you look on the ground, I don't see really any leaves. It's an odd leaf. That's about it. And I don't, the reason why this is happening is uh, is the magnitude. And actually, I'm going to keep that there. So it's like, ah. But the magnitude and the importance of me. I have to be sarcastic because, uh, you know, as soon as I got back to Canada while seeking asylum, from Canada, knowing that I was harassed by uh, doctors and uh, police and other professionals in this city, and uh, how I was able to ascertain that Daisy Ruscio was, you know, and I'm, I don't even care if she you know, wants to sue me for slander, but, uh, you know, because no problem, I could prove it. But I was able to ascertain that Justice Cohen received $15,000 and that he was in his 80s and and uh, suffered from uh, dementia and he was going to be a scapegoat and uh, within the last few weeks that man passed away and uh, sure enough he was in his 80s and uh, and he was a justice and his last name was Cohen so the fact that I was able to determine this while I was in Denmark not speaking to anybody and as soon as I got to the airport back in Canada you know there was four police waiting for me and my brother who I, I don't know I'm kind of estranged I never told them that I was coming back to Canada on that specific date. There was four officers there that ended up bringing me to um, a hospital, I believe it was Sunnybrook, and uh, to basically for a form two, a 72 hour evaluation, uh, saying that I'm schizophrenic. And how could you be schizophrenic when I'm calling all these shots? Like, you know, I'm gonna go back to uh, the hub trail, I'm gonna point right at a bridge, I'm gonna go over the bridge, and I know there's gonna be half dead trees on the other side of the bridge. This system's over 583 years old, and uh, you know, I'm just smart enough to figure it out. I was, I was the first one to figure it out. And uh, the fact that they have to, all they could do is lie and try to cover up their lies, and it's so easy when you, you tell the truth. You know, it's uh, it's, that simple when you tell the truth you just keep on going forward but when you tell a lie you have to consistently lie and up your lie so it's very easy to see through it and uh i'm just wondering you know who who is the judge that's getting paid off nowadays